Hi guys, welcome to Fright Fest. Thank you. Thanks. Do you just want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yes. I'm Julie Kaufman. I'm Paul Hunt, co-director of The Brilliant Terror. So The Brilliant Terror is a documentary. Mm -hmm. So um, have you made movies before? We're in the documentary genre. So, so these documentaries yes. you guys specialize yeah. in? Yes. Yeah. We made a few other projects on the creative process of other film, film uh, other, pro uh, other artists, but this is the first on uh, genre filmmakers, yeah. yeah. Nice, okay. So when you were putting this documentary together, yeah. uh, did you have Fright Fest in mind? We did not. This was so last minute. We had finished it in May. Deadline was at the end of May. We submitted it. 12 hours later, we were invited. We got an email from Alan saying, oh, this is wonderful. Would you li like to come to Fright Fest? And we're like, is this real? I don't think this is real. We it thought is. it was some spam joke email from one of our friends. Well, I can tell thrill. you now, it's real. <laughs> How does it feel? Oh, well, fantastic. Yeah, we're yeah. having a blast. Everybody's been so welcome in. Great hosts, fabulous. Everybody's fantastic. And it's so great being in person again, I think, for everybody, because we haven't. Oh, done absolutely. That before. Yeah. I don't know if you caught it earlier, but apparently we are the first festival mm -hmm. in the UK. How does that feel? Wow. Yes. <laughs> it's so great to be back in my homeland, back at one of my favorite cinemas. What the? The Empire Leicester Square is showing our movie. I, w I was watching Jurassic Park here 100 years ago, and then we're showing our documentary here. It's nuts. Love it, yes. And thank you, Alan, and the rest of the Bright First team for inviting us. So tell me about your documentary. It's, it's genre, but uh, beyond that, tell me a bit more. Go ahead, Julie. Yeah, so it goes behind the scenes of the grassroots horror movement and really looking at the filmmakers and the fans who both make and consume it. Oh, my goodness. And it's like, we're talking micro-budget or no-budget. Uh, friends, you know, you have your go-to people that you go with when you're making something and just the creativity of making something with so little. Amazing. So it is literally a horror filmmaker's wet dream. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so there's going to be an awful lot of like tidbits in there, I can imagine. Yeah. Basically any horror filmmaker needs to watch this, right? We're in the trenches with the filmmakers. I'm lying on the floor. And in I the bathroom stall, not the a, trenches. Yeah, 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 it felt like a trench. Amazing. Icy cold, so freezing cold. Mike's filming in a t-shirt. The guy filming, t-shirt. The guy is in his underwear, in a t-shirt. And I am I have never worn so many clothes in my life. And I'm lying on top of Mike filming. He says, Paul, you don't have to get off. Keep me warm. <laughs> They were close to hypothermia, it was hysterical. So it really delves into like what it's like to make like horror movies. That's amazing. So what made you make this this documentary? Yeah, this is always a, a, a tricky section because it's sad to say, but we threw out our original concept a month before we finished. This is something we've been working on for years. And then we, it's okay. One, one piece of it we got rid of at the last minute and it just kind of opened it up in a different way. So that seed of an idea will maybe become a short sometime and be a thing of its own. Ooh, but. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But Mike, the theme, the lead in the story, he completely turned the movie around and we ended up focusing on him and it became a richer story, a uh, story of Mike, and there's a few other filmmakers in there, but because of Mike, it, he's a triple threat. He's a wonderful director, great, even more important, he can write, he can write up a storm, and he's a special effects guy. So we had everything we wanted in there. So. And he just gave us wonderful access. He was so open. We were on the set with him. We were in his personal life some of the time, and you just don't, you don't get that all the time. So do you think you guys are going to be aiming to return to Fright Vest in future years? Um, it could be. Yeah, my, my, I really, I've got a thing I want to do. I want to try and hunt down Rob Bottin, oh, the uh, effects guru behind the thing, the howling. What happened to Rob Bottin? Why is he not in the practical effects world anymore? Why did he disappear? So anybody out there who knows Rob Bottin, 
throw us uh, here in my way. Well, there you go, everybody. Yeah. Anybody who knows? And throw these lovely people some, some lines. Right, cool. Nice one. Thank you so much for having a quick Thank chat you. with me. Thank you. And hopefully I'll see you a bit later. Excellent. Fantastic. Thanks. Day, day one. Day one.